Oh god, not this music again. Golden time Reven again Reven Reven again? What? What is a sunset? I don't know, bro. It is when the sky is that a burning shade of red at twilight. Supposedly it's due to the angle of incidence of the sun's rays close to the horizon, which causes them to collide with the atmosphere for an extended time frame and result in a red hue. Although it is more yellow than red, that same light mixes with the blue of the sky. Perhaps negates is a more appropriate word to describe it, but I wasn't entirely sure. What is with this font? I don't like the font. Whichever the case may be. Would you look at that? Whoa, this is the safe thingy. Why is Ria here? Isn't she dead dead? It's definitely gold. Its golden radiance was the more was far more beautiful than any other color in the world. <laughs> Sobi's eyes sparkled as she gazed at the sun as it disappeared along the horizon. What can I say? For real. It's not like I was hiding it from you either. You just wanted me to secrecy. You got any complaints? Take them up with her. <laughs> I have so many questions already. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Can ask the questions now, game. All right, stop right there. I'm gonna ask the questions right now. One, why is Ria? Is there gonna be another Ria route in this game? Like, you don't have to answer, right? It's just one of those things where it's like shut up and play and find out. But I just can't help but be like, okay, first of all, why is she there? Second of all, what did that scene have to do with anything? Did I have to do with the last game at some point before Rhea died or something? Or is that like in continuation of Rhea Root before she died? Or like, what? And if there is a Rhea Root, why is there a Rhea Root if she's dead? And also, I'm assuming the common route is going to be a continuation of the common route from the previous game. Assumingly. Again, I don't know. And I know it is one of those things I should just play or read and shut up. But... My brain says I should say it out loud just because, so I said it just because, and uh, thank you for hearing me. That's right, chicken. Sure, sure. She was high strung as ever, I see. Sorry about that. I returned home to visit my family over New Year's. And when I did, my sister was waiting to ambush me with a series of questions. Things like, how is your new life? Are you eating? Doing well? Man, that's family for you. Let me relax. I guess what contributes to the confusion too is that I don't remember how the common route ended and I think that is very crucial in order to understand what's going on or where they left off, if that makes sense. For the veterans that have read this, you're probably shaking your head viciously. And uh, I'm sorry, but I don't remember. I wonder if this game is going to be as long as the first one. Anyways. Some parts of it are fun, but it's usually more of a pain than not. Still the reason that I had adjusted my new life to some extent now that three months had passed since I'd enrolled in Mobile Academy. Alright, common route. But I'd never lived on my own before, much less at a special academy with such extraordinary acquaintances at that. There was way too much out of take into consideration. Uh, 
I see they couldn't be bothered to add a bar to let me know when they go on to the next line because I'm always cutting them off. Always. They literally could have done that. There's no way it was that much work to just put up a little bar, you know? Like they had the time to throw in a little star here at the bottom right corner, but they couldn't add the progress bar now that they were at it. That's my gripe with this visual novel. <laughs> Well, yeah. I may have called it New Year's, but it was already January 5th. I've got a bunch of homework left to do. If I stayed, then I'd have to do it all on the 7th or 8th. You really aren't meant to go on a ton of separate shrine visits. Uh, come on, remember how there were those sudden low pressure systems or whatever last month and they're on New Year's? It was so bad. The airports had to ground all of their planes. Yes, miss. There she is. They shared a resounding high five. Ella-san, Minachan, and Sylvie all turned up at the dorm and announced on New Year's Eve. I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem any other time, but it's fine. Nearly everyone's gone to visit their families. With today being December 31st, the cafe and on-site convenience store were both closed for the holiday. Additionally, you could count the number of remaining residents on one hand. Same here. And then there's one other person. <laughs> With a quick nod at the nearby wall, Sylvie couldn't contain herself and a broad smile overtook her face. With that, she knocked on my neighbor's door. Who should be dead, by the way. <laughs> The door rammed shut. Yeah. Rio, Sylvia, and I all met 10 years ago. Rio and I immediately ran into each other when I transferred to the Mobile Academy three months ago. But it was only recently that Sylvie became aware of Rio's presence at the Academy. She had been practically glued to Rhea and it was clearly causing issues for her attendant. Oh well, what else can you expect? Especially given the unique circumstances surrounding Rhea. Oh sure, plenty of considerations surrounding her royal duties and otherwise had been made. But I hope Sylvie would be allowed to do as she pleased for at least a while. Alrighty, where is the sound? <clears throat> this thing is boom. That sounds better. 
Oh, by the way, if it sounds too quiet or too loud for you, I would love to hear the feedback. Of course, the weather would finally chill out after you guys decided to stay for New Year's. Our princess had some extraordinary luck. The six, the six of us left at this dorm would spend a peaceful New Year's together. This meat's tasty. We wound up having a hot pot party together while the hot pot commissioner divvied everything up. Sukiyaki made with grade A meat, just it's different, huh? Well, you don't have the taste buds, pretty much. Go ahead, eat up some more. Did you not like the meat? I assumed you ate corned beef regularly, though. Like that's a new angle we haven't seen of Mina. Interesting. That's one of the great things about Ellie. Ten. Hahaha. Good place, but you can't win the game. Eleven. This is how it is supposed to be. Twelve. Souma-kun, doubt. Ah. Hmm. Eh? That's so. So, 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 so. I'm impressed you could tell, Sylvie. Soma-kun-no-koto-wa-nan-demo-mito-shio-zutto-mite-ta-kara-zutto-shirubi. Ah, yes, a new track. Finally. Uh-oh. 
They go awfully well together. There is some strategy involved, but once you get used to it, it mostly comes down to luck. Pass. パス。誰が she swiped all of the powerful cards pretty early on. お姉様は駆け引きも記憶力も強いですけど、やっぱり運が粒抜けてますわ。シルビー。ああ、はいはい。じゃあ、9のトリプル。当たり前に出してくるのがクソ強いんよね。パス。パスですわ。今回もお姉様が一番ですわね。都落ちルール that's enough to make you suspect foul play, but this is Sylvie we're talking about, so I doubt it. Sylvie シルビー様。あ、はいはい。お、あら、3と5しか残ってないおう。もうエルチンが上がるまで出せないから、都落ち確定だね。珍しい。計算間違えたん Always love seeing all of them together. It's fun. Uh -huh. Although it's a little early for New Year's Eve. Yeah. シルビーが完全に電池切れてるから仕方ない。ほら、起きろシルビー。ベッド行くぞ。え何を言ってるのみんな。まだまだ夜はこれからよ。さあ、次は何するババ抜きどうぞ。はい。How'd she get up so fast? She looked like she was in deep sleep。3つとももう終わりました。What the heck? よく ほら、もう寝た方がいいって。え、やだやだ。そうまくんと年越し、そうまくんと年越しするの。一緒に年越しして、一緒におそば食べて、すき焼き食べて、お餅も食べて、みかんとあそば。まあ、たくさん食える
たけどの写真に残すな消しなさい、はあ、Oh man Other son, this only comes once a year. Shikata Rimasen, eh? Hetani Teko Sarete Abare Rareru Yori, Konomama Otonashka Sreba, Jupuina and Gusridis. Sonato Betoni Hakonda Honga Hayai. She was speaking from experience. No surprise there. Ga Kandaru, eh? The Taito Scosno Sunkamade, walked at the Miser and the Kara. Ne, you saw your son, eh? Oh boy is correct. Go. Young. Three. Me. Each. Hope we'll have another great year together. <laughs> Midnight. Now that we've made it past the major hurdle, it came as no surprise that we call it a night. What? You totally disqualified yourself from using the word future the second you decided to keep that joke up. And then. Priya called someone. Just when I wondered who it could be, I was sitting next to her on the sofa so I couldn't hear the voice. Jogasaki? It's me, Ichimatsu. I can't wait for her room. That's a horrible false accusation. Seriously. She started talking about something or other. A short while later. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like she had also gotten the scary person's permission. I could hear cheery voices from the neighboring room for a while, but Sylvia was definitely near her limit, and their voices suddenly grew quiet. That likely meant Rhea. What? Rhea? Raven and the others had also gone to sleep. As the dorm fell silent, I got into bed. Sylvia, Rhea, and myself. For the first time in a decade, the three of us brought in the new year together, and it couldn't have been more fun. I have no idea what game they were playing, by the way. Someone please explain if you know. Senpai. No, not you! I thought we were done with you. <laughs> Oh no, I know that voice. 
Oh. Oh. Senpai. No. Oh. Akane-chan. Ohayou gozaimasu, senpai. Akemashite, omedetou gozaimasu. Akane-chan. What's up? Wait, what? This is a dream, right? So desu ne. Koko wa senpai no yume no naka desu. Genjitsu no watashi wa ima jikka de netemasu. Oh, really? How is it at your place? Yappari raku desu ne. Okaasan ga nonne mo shite kurere kara zutto kota kara terare naku nat chaimasu. You don't doze off under the kotatsu? Hehehe. Jitsu wa saki mo kouhaku minagara utto utto to okaasan ni okosare mo shita kedo. You're going to catch a cold that way. Naijobu desu yo. Obaachan ga take o nao shite kurete hanten ga su. Sounds like you're one big happy family. So, why am I dreaming about you? きっと、もうじき先輩は目を覚ますからだと思います。朝の6時。いつもラジオ体操する時間ですよ。さあ、今日も元気にラジオ体操ですよ、先輩。夢の中とはいえ、新年一発目、元気よく行きましょう。Please let it be a dream. I don't want to do radio calisthenics on New Year's morning. Ah yes, the fire talk. What is this? Chicken skewers? Uh-huh. I've heard hawk meat is too tough to eat, though. This is fried eggplant? I checked the clock, it was a bit past 6 in the morning. The same time Akane-chan always woke me up. I started off the new year with an underclassman's lame as heck gag. What kind of new year's is this? Later. Mm. I heard voices from next door. They must have already been up. When I left the room, Thanks for not interfering, scary person. Since I've got this radio calisthenic crazed underclassman who won't let me be lazy and sleep in. From there. Tough time of the day for you, huh? She pretty much always slept around the clock, so getting up at 6 a.m. must have been rough. Let's just exclude Akane, please. Sylvie tottered her way up at the second floor. To the second floor. We knew why. Did we? The rest of us headed outside of wait. Um... So I believe this is... The sunrise? It's Japanese custom, so you two should have given it everything you've got. Come on. At last, we made our way out from the trees. There's something I forgot to say in the beginning of this video. Not just something that I wanted to say, but I think I completely forgot the outro, the intro. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoops. Well, hey, 
Welcome back to some King Koi. But not just King Koi. King Koi Golden Time. So welcome to that. <laughs> if you did not see how last game ended, go watch it. You should know the drill already. What I did want to say though is... I already forgot. Oh my, oh my god. As soon as I started the game, I was like, alright, I'm gonna let this go for a bit. And then I'm gonna do the intro and I just forgot completely. <laughs> New Year's Sunrise, or the so-called Rising Sun. <laughs> you said it. Based on the location, this would be a perfect spot to see the sunset sink into the lake. But, would you get to see the morning sun rising up peacefully through the trees? Oh yeah, I now remembered what I wanted to say. <laughs> If you guys recall, I had talked about a poll and 12 people voted. That's the most I've ever got on votes on something. And I just wanted to say, thank you for participating if you did. And also, I found it pretty funny that I didn't even look at that poll until a week later. And after I had already uploaded Cafe Stella, and I saw that on the poll results, everybody, mostly everybody, wanted to see Golden Time right after I was done with Golden Love Rich. And I just started playing Cafe Stella right after that. But then I went back, I saw it, and I was like, oh, people want to see Golden Time right away. Okay, well, I guess I'll be doing both. But I did talk about how I wanted to do both at the same time. Of course, though, we would be focusing more on Golden Time. But yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for participating if you did. Doesn't really feel like we're on much of an outing, does it? Speaking as a Japanese person who was used to seeing better views on TV, like the top of Mount Fuji, the overlapping Mount Aso, or the end of Hokkaido, this was overwhelming. This was underwhelming. Well, it was enough as long as we were left with the fact we'd seen it. The three foreigners did seem happy simply because they'd gotten to see it for the first time themselves. Ria? Hmm, interesting. It feels like there's way too much to do at the start of the year. There was enough food in the dorm to go around, but nothing as nice as glutinous rice. But... Oh god, no loud noise, please. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the roof? The door broke its way through the ceiling and darted down. What the heck? Just develop it not to destroy anything in the first place. That's crazy. Mochi pounding mode. <laughs> Sounds funny. Plunk. The upper half of its head split open, and inside was steaming hot mochi ice. Telling us to go ahead and dig in? Where did all the signs go? Their country was as incomprehensible as ever. She called over the rather sleeping looking Ria, who was about two seconds away from nodding off. She came into the room. Oh, 
羽を引っ込めて完全に球体になっていましたあれが第一の機能落とし玉モードです福笑いモードってのが気になるかなあと実は上空待機している時すでにこの後の日程に沿ってある機能が発動していましたのよ What sort of function? 初詣モード近場である程度にぎわっている神社をオートで探す機能ですわ A smartphone could handle that fine So extra But yeah Huh? That's the thumbnail. I guess it's a helpful function. They put on kimonos via some dress up mode, rather kudo, kudo, had built in, and we headed around the a moderately vacant shrine. Takoyaki doesn't seem like it'd be great to eat while walking around, though. Yeah, only parts of Tokyo exceed a million people. The small shrine we'd picked today was close by and fairly empty, so it was easy to walk around. It would be too dangerous for Soviet and Minachan if we suddenly hurled ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> it wasn't enough to panic over, but Sylvie was famous. Any blonde haired person in a kimono would stand out like a sore thumb. So those around her had gotten excited around the time she visited the shrine ceremonial purification fountain. It wasn't looking like an extended visit would work out. I grabbed the supplies. Over here. We lined up for the main event of any New Year's shrine visit. The prey at the shrine. Doesn't look like it. Once we give our offering, that's the end of it. It eats up a lot of time, so a lot of shrines avoid using them during special occasions. They could wind up falling if pulled by too many people, so it would be dangerous enough. So it was dangerous enough. You're oddly fixated on that, huh? As if it would. I've never heard of anyone tossing in 10,000 yen bills or credit cards as offerings. People will typically go with 10 yen for this. Even if you were to splurge since it's New Year's, 100 yen would be plenty. I got out three 100 yen coins and split them between us. And then our turn in line just so happened to come. And when our offerings, clap, clap. You know about that? The three of us clapped in unison. I'm 
れなのよね。金融と効力なくなるんだっけ？場所によっては行った方が効果出るとも聞くけど。You probably don't need to go out of your way to share. Let's just keep it to ourselves for now, okay? I think we all have an idea. Yeah, I can imagine. Definitely. I can imagine what you'd wish for too, though, Ria. Spicy little one. With that, we decided to head out early. I was freezing up until yesterday, but it's quite warm today. <laughs> Rainer couldn't keep up with the shuttle cock <laughs> that got slammed in her direction and it easily fell. You're good at battle door. Battle door? Hmm. I've got this impression that Battle Door is more a game for girls, though. <laughs> Good luck, Reyna. Also, I'm not trying to make a jab here, but this really doesn't have the same scoring system as tennis. Familiar? More like it doesn't really have rules. The only point is to keep the game going as long as possible without letting the shuttlecock fall. Malador is a lucky charm, after all. It's almost like a ritual praying for good health. And the longer you keep a rally going, the healthier you'll be. Please put Rhea to play this then. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she mimicked her well, what the heck? Yeah, traditionally speaking, there's often a punishment game that follows at the end of the match. You get to scribble all over the loser's face with black ink. <laughs> the concept behind this game was that dropping the shuttlecock was a sign of subpar health, so you would coat the loser in impure ink as a prayer for well being. But in reality, it was nothing more than a simple punishment game. I want to see her with her face drawn. That would be fun. <laughs> I bet you were planning on splattering Elisan with paint if you won, but play it off if you lost. It's your own fault. <laughs> Then, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that even she is laughing. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Wait, what'd he do? I forgot! Oh my god! It was great that we got to start off the year on a fun note. It is indeed fun. And then. Mm -hmm. Hey! So we had changed that over her kumono and just so happened to have come out of Ria's room. Where's Ria? 
言って暑いのでちょっと早く起こしすぎちゃったみたい I see Think she's okay? 平気よ疲れたという様子ではなかったわ Oh, really? Her illness. I didn't know a ton about it, so I was a bit of a loss for what to do at times like that. Only to make sure not to wear her out, but also not to fuzz over her. That was all I could imagine. Manage. Hmm. Yeah. I bet she would. I know. I'll watch out when I'm around her. Wait, all of that was just telling her about that? Hold up, what? Okay, well, that's a great spot to end it at. I think this was a really solid first episode. I am very confused because I don't. I, like, what is this a continuation on? Like, from where or from which route is it a continuation from? You know what I mean? Like, I, it's just. At first, initially, initially, I had thought that this was a continuation of the common route of the last game, but now I'm not so sure. Because all of a sudden they know about the illness, and the illness wasn't even revealed until Ria's root. So that's why I'm confused. Unless it is a continuation of Ria's root, but then again, that would not make sense because she's alive. <laughs> so, huh. I really, really, really just don't want to see her die again because that was very depressing, and I don't think I want to go through that same pain again. You know what I mean? But with that being said, that's all I got to say about this game so far. It was a good first episode for sure. I'm really excited to have it. Brought it over, and I'm really glad that you guys also enjoyed it, and also wanted to see Golden Time right away. You know, because if I don't, if I had waited any longer, there's a good chance I might have forgotten some important things, and you know, it'll make this a whole lot more confusing. But anyways, I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll let y'all go. As always, y'all stay safe, and until next video.